Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today, we are going to go on a meta exploration of the One Piece world. I love the art of One Piece. It's unique, it's detailed, it's captivating, and it's incredibly effective. All as a result of Oda being a fantastic visual artist. However, he has also created several characters within the series who inherit his artistic ability. So today, we are going to honor those characters who all share a love for creation. The criteria for this list is as follows. The character in question must engage in a process of creating some form of what they would call art. And just to make things even easier on myself, it has to be a form of visual art. This can also double as how the character fights, as long as they believe that they are making art. So with that out of the way, let's begin. Welcome to the top 5 artists in One Piece. Number 5. Kanjiro. Alright, kicking things off, we have this crazy samurai hailing from the Wano country. Kanjiro is pretty immediately distinguishable as an artist as he wields a giant ink brush. This is because Kanjiro has consumed a paramecia type devil fruit that allows him to turn anything that is drawn into a three dimensional object. As part of this ability, he can even create living organisms. So now your mind is probably racing with the possibilities of this kind of power. I mean, in the hands of a great artist, the potential is just endless. Unfortunately, in the hands of Kanjiro, the power is very, uh, let's say, somewhat limited because his drawing style is just plain bad. He is very oversimplistic and not particularly imaginative, resulting in some quite interesting creations coming into being, actually. And really, that lack of skill and imagination is art because you can always tell when something was drawn by Kanjiro. He has a very distinctive and signature style which has the power to make an impact on the world. So that is something to be proud of, I, I think. Number 4. Usopp So while Usopp has very few talents that contribute to combat in One Piece, he does however have a wide array of other enviable skills of a more nuanced variety. And one such skill just so happens to be a penchant for artistry. Like seriously, this guy has an eye for quality and is in fact the character responsible for crafting the Straw Hats Jolly Roger. Well, at least the Mark II of the Jolly Roger. Luffy was responsible for the first one, but uh, yeah, Usopp did a good job. But Usopp can tackle pretty much any medium of art and has proved to be an especially good sculptor as well as a painter. At this point, Usopp's artistic skill is so legendary that in the manga volumes there is a special section known as Usopp's Gallery, where young artists can send in their fan works to be featured. So yeah, well done Usopp, you are more than deserving of the number 4 spot on this list. Number 3. Carrot. So everyone's favourite, or actually not so favourite Mink in some cases, whatever the case, displayed her artistic talents during the whole Cake Island arc. Without going into too much detail, Carrot's group were asking sentient mirrors if they had seen any of their friends, and of course mirrors being mirrors, they needed a visual reference. So Carrot rather swiftly produced a very artistically competent piece, although it certainly is stylized in a very Carrot specific way. Her manner of drawing seemingly depicts both males and females as exceptionally feminine, and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever in fact, it's pretty damn hilarious. But after recovering from all of the laughter, you do have to admit that this aesthetic is simply beautiful. The way Carrot wields lines, texture, and carefully chosen color, it's definitely the mark of a wonderful artist. Number two, Jora. So now we're going to veer away from the traditional art forms for a second and briefly step into the uh, aesthetically challenging world of modern art. Jora here is an officer of the Don Quixote Pirates and she ate a rather special devil fruit known as the Ato Ato no Mi, a paramecia type fruit that allows the user to transform people or objects into quote unquote art. Now this fruit is just devastating and can render very powerful individuals almost entirely useless. But we're not here to talk about that. We are just here to admire Jora's creations. At a quick glance, it's easy to tell that Jora is heavily inspired by early to mid 20th century movements, having imitated works by Pablo Picasso, Edvard Munch, and even Salvador Dali. Their work, and by association Jora's work, are incredibly divisive, eliciting either incredibly positive or profoundly negative reactions. And in the end, isn't that what art is all about? starting a discussion and conjuring a feeling within the viewer. Well, that's probably the largest artistic argument in the last couple of centuries, and we're not going to get into it here, but we are going to say, good job, Jorah. Number 1. Miss Golden Week 
All right, I feel like this one may have been a bit predictable, but Miss Golden Week's spot on this list is incredibly well deserved. When speaking about Jorah, I said that her style was successful because it conjured a strong emotion one way or the other. But Miss Golden Week takes her artistic ability a huge step further by actively selecting the emotion felt and even the action performed by her viewer, or actually in her case, her target. She achieves this by using a special brand of hypnosis known as Colors Traps. However, the only aspect involved in this hypnosis is the selection of a color. Miss Goldenwig's mastery of color allows her to produce the perfect shade of a color to elicit whatever response she wishes. Some examples of these include laughter yellow, betrayal black, and even sorrowful blue. And as for her magnum opus, Miss Goldenwick can weave color in such a way that she can even delve into the dreams and desires of people and even bring them out in a superficial sort of way. That is one hell of an impressive artist in my mind and most certainly worthy of the top spot on this list. And that pretty much does it for the top 5 artists in One Piece. If you enjoyed this video then feel free to like, favourite or subscribe, and please do comment with your favourite artists in the series. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.